hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new my name is roxy if you are in this video um actually this video is pretty impromptu i'm gonna be doing a relaxer and i would like to rinse my hair jet black but i may or may not do that depending on how much time i have and also i'm gonna mold my hair yeah so that's what that's what we're gonna do today um, I'm doing an at-home relaxer. Before we start this video, I just want to make a disclaimer that it is technically it's not um, preferred or safe to relax your hair at home. If you have the option, I would suggest that you go to a professional to get your hair relaxed properly um, in a healthier way. But because I've been doing this for a while now, I feel comfortable and I'm also willing to, um, uh, I guess, take the repercussions that come with relaxing at home. Um, for the, my last two relaxers, I went to Salon Shade to get it relaxed, cut, and style and everything. Um, however, um, I don't have the time to make an appointment with her, so I'm just going to do what I normally do and just relax my hair at home this time. So it's been about four weeks since my last relaxer. I could be wrong. I'll put the exact timing. Um, I'm going to be using olive oil relaxer. This is the one I'm most comfortable with. This is in normal strength. I'll leave all the products below for you guys to check out um, if you guys are interested. So I'm going to base my hair, my hairline using uh, Vaseline or petroleum jelly um, just to make sure I don't like burn my skin or like over process. But um, olive oil does have a, a, it's called a base or a scalp protector but it's downstairs and I'd rather just use what I have up here. So I'm just using this one in place of that. So I'm gonna relax my hair in 10 minutes or less because I don't wanna over process and dry out my hair. My hair is already dry as it is. I don't wanna go too crazy with the relaxer and leave it on for too long. Like it doesn't need to be burning in order for me to take it off. I'm gonna apply everything and um, let it sit for 10 minutes max it's a lot easier because my hair is a lot shorter so i'm definitely definitely going to be able to achieve it if your hair is longer it's going to be harder to do that if you read the instructions on the back side here if you read it it does tell you um for fine here you put it in for 10 to 11 minutes for medium here 12 to 15 minutes so if you're leaving it on any longer i think that's when the like that's when the issues come into place, like over processing, like chemical burns and you know, anyway, my point is if you can go to the salon and get your hair relaxed. Hey Siri, set my timer for 11 minutes. All right, so my timer's on. I'm gonna start at the back. I should wear gloves to protect my skin, but I don't have gloves right now. So I'm gonna try to use my hands as less as possible. And you can even use like a dye brush to apply the relaxer. But like I said, I'm not recommending you anymore to relax your hair at home because I know it can be detrimental, especially if you don't do it correctly. And a lot of the, um, a lot of like the, here, beauty supply store relaxers are not as good as the professional ones. So please use this at your own risk. I was considering doing a partial relaxer to kind of keep any volume that I might have at the top. But because it's so short, I'm considering doing the whole thing. The last time I washed it was about three days ago, so my hair is not super dirty. I prefer to wash, uh, relax it when it's super dirty because it kind of creates like a barrier um, between my scalp and the relaxer. But it's okay. So I have eight minutes left. Eight minutes, I think so far so good, especially because it's short. When you relax your hair, you're supposed to only do the roots. But because my hair is so short, I'm not even gonna bother trying to do just the roots because there's only a little bit of new growth. 
And I think I'm also gonna give myself a trim as well. So I'm just gonna do a partial relaxer. And then in the next four weeks, four to five weeks, when I relax again, I'll do the entire thing because there'll be more new growth up here. So I have five minutes left. I'm just gonna comb everything through, especially at the back. I have like two minutes left. I'm gonna actually shave my armpits. Well, I'm gonna put nair on my armpits, so I'm gonna use that time now to kind of slap it on. And also, I'm going to I'm going to be neutralizing my hair with neutralizing shampoo. I'm looking over here because I thought I had another one, but I don't. Um, so this is the Motions um, Moisture Neutralizing Shampoo. So I'm gonna rinse this out first completely and then go in with a couple of shampoos just to make sure that the processing has stopped. I am out of breath, so I just washed my hair. I washed my hair using the Shea Moisture High Porosity Moisture Plenish Shampoo and their High Porosity Moisture Replenish Mask. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna color my hair or add a rinse simply because I put the mask on already. So I feel like that kind of sealed everything in. Like the cuticles are covered. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> when my hair is like shampooed and raw, I feel like the hair follicles are wide open for the color to stick on. So I'll just rinse my hair when I wash it the next time, maybe like in a week. So that's what I use to shampoo my hair after neutralizing it. Um, my skin is gonna get super dry, so I'm just gonna moisturize my skin quickly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna use this eye cream that I have. It's not like a particular brand that I love, but I found it in Winners. The ultra firming eye cream and I have super dry skin so anything that's like firming and moisturizing is what I need um, and I do need to get better with my skincare big time but that's a story for another day so I'm, I'm gonna use this SPF moisturizing day cream it's from this brand called Reversa it's like an anti-aging brand um, so it has SPF in it, so it goes on pretty thick, but I definitely need it. And it has um 4% glycolic acid, so I can honestly feel like some type of tingling going on, and it's usually on my cheeks. But anyway, before my before my hair dries out. I need to wrap it, so I'm using the Nairobi Foaming Lotion. I'm not going to use any um, leave-in or moisturizer today before I wrap. I'm just going to wrap it straight, straight ahead, especially after just finishing using the mask. So I'm just going to get everything in. Get it all soapy. I'm going pretty heavy-handed on this, but... It's all good. Let me get my comb. So I'm out of breath because I ran up and down the stairs just now. <laughs> Cause I needed to find the foam. But I found it. All right, so we're just wrapping. Ooh. And I, I can still kind of feel like some waviness back here, which means like my hair wasn't processed completely. But that's okay. It doesn't need to be super bone straight. It's not that serious. Um, the mousse can help me help lay it down. Yeah, especially right here, it feels like it didn't even get relaxed. Oops, my bad. That's why you need to go to a professional. <laughs> Lately, I've been wanting to wrap my hair with everything coming forward you know 
usually I do the comb over method, but I've been wanting to like pull everything forward. I used a lot of mousse. I OD'd, guys. I went overdose on it. And I also want to trim my hair. Honestly, like I want to take off this fringe right here so it can be more like a true pixie and holding on to the front especially because I find that like right here I was having issues in terms of like fullness so I was trying to hold on to every strand of hair but I want to kind of cut it I pulled everything forward and I'm just gonna do this I don't know if this makes sense if I'm gonna trim it, it kind of doesn't but whatever yeah I went OD on the on the Nairobi so I didn't have to use that much, but I did. And I'm gonna use the Red by Kiss wrap strips. These are super strong. I don't usually pick these ones up, but when I do, and I'm like, whoa, these are some strong wrap strips. All right. So, just gonna wrap this around here. Like so. And then take another one. And I'm just gonna tie this one like this. And this wrap is not even that tight, it's just to keep it in place. I'm gonna go under the dryer now to obviously dry my hair faster. If you guys do your pixies at home, it's a must that you have a hooded dryer. It saves so much time for the drying process, especially if your hair is a little bit longer. Yeah, it saves a lot of time. Trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. And during that time, I usually like, I'll be on my phone replying to emails or just watching like Instagram videos or YouTube. So, let's go downstairs. Hey guys, so this is my hooded dryer. I've had this, I've had this dryer since, I don't know, since Micah was like one years old and he's eight. So this is the red um, ceramic tourmaline hooded dryer. I actually got this dryer um, off of the Facebook marketplace. Someone sold it to me for 50 bucks. But I'll definitely link the hooded dryer below to where you can get one on Amazon or any other source that I can find. It's definitely a good thing to have. Speeds up the process, especially if this pixie thing is a part of your lifestyle. Um, yeah, I honestly just put it on my island right here or peninsula whatever you want to call it my sink is right here um, and I, I, this is this is where I do what I do this is where I do it this is where the magic happens I'm just gonna cock up my foot here <laughs> oh my gosh I'm struggling I'm trying to get myself comfortable as comfortable as possible mm -hmm. and like this would be it so I'm just gonna read my word today and start drawing. All right, so my hair is dry. Looks like this. If you look really closely, you can see like that there's some texture, especially back here where I, where I intended to relax. Well, that is fine. Ooh, I'm out of breath because I have to go up and down the stairs. <laughs> um, so I just grabbed my little scissors, my little hair source scissors. I got my tail comb. I think I want to do like a little trim. Yes. Just a little one, nothing too crazy. I know you guys can't see, I literally just did this. But I need the mirror so I can't really turn around to show you guys. I did want to take off some length right here and I don't want to go like straight across so 
I'm just gonna lift it up and then make a guide. I truly want to take some off, so. All right, so we got it a little shorter. Okay, right here looks a little weird. Looking kind of square, but all right. So I got what I wanted, and that was to make like the fringe a little bit shorter so that when I style my pixie I don't have like all that length up here you know all my forehead is showing but that is fine So that is my little trim. I did go to the salon. I went to Salon Che and I got my hair cut down. So it is a lot shorter than the last video that you guys might have seen. I'm also gonna um, post that video um, after this one. So you'll see that I got my hair cut initially. I asked her to take off um, some of the top and also to cut down my sideburns. So you guys will see that. It's kind of backwards, but I just wasn't I didn't feel like it was enough to share with you guys for some reason. I don't know why I was overthinking that, but I'm going to share that video after this one. So yeah, so this is what I wanted, more like a true pixie. So, you know, really short. I'm going to style it a bit at the front to kind of take that dent that I made from when I wrapped it. Yeah. My camera is going to die, but this is a uh, half inch. <laughs> Before my camera rudely died. I was trying to show you guys that I was using this flat iron to curl my hair. I bumped it really lightly just now. And I also put some moisturizing lotion in it to kind of weigh it down a bit. Right? But this is like what it's giving right now. It's giving that. So... <laughs> My client is actually here. I gotta go. I wanted to finish out this video like properly. Um, you know, do a little makeup look and everything. But I wasted my whole day. I was like doing nothing. Today's actually Good Friday, in case you're watching. Um, and I wanted to try out these lashes that I got from Amazon. They're kind of fluffy. But I wanna try them out to see like what they're giving. But I have to save that for another video. Um, Thank you so much for watching. You know, thanks for clicking on my face, clicking on my thumbnail. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions, you can leave them below. Also, I officially reached 100K subscribers. I wanna tell you guys how much I appreciate you for subscribing to my channel, um, for hitting this milestone together. Um, I'm super happy. I'm excited. I'm proud of myself. I never thought, you know, I imagined, but you know, I imagined, but it actually happened. All thanks to you guys, really, for following me and supporting me. Um, like, you know, from like seven years ago when I started. But yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have a blessed day. Bye.